Hey everyone, it's Jillian and for today's video I thought it would be so much fun if I did another trying American candy slash trying American food video. I've done one of these before and you guys loved that video and you suggested a bunch more foods for me to try. So I've picked up some of those foods and I can't wait to see what they taste like. I'm actually starving right now so this is a perfect video for me to film. So if you didn't know, I am Australian and I can't get these foods in Australia so it's going to be really exciting trying these foods out. It's really fun as well because I always see these foods in like American movies and American TV shows and now I finally get to see what they taste like so these videos are really really fun and I can finally see what all the hype is about it's really fun trying out all these foods because I go into it with an idea of what I think it's gonna taste like but so often I am wrong like in my last video you guys might remember I tried Dr. Pepper and I was like oh it's gonna be a peppery drink and I was so so wrong so it's gonna be fun to see if I'm right with what I think they're gonna taste like or if I'm completely wrong and I'm so excited to start eating all these foods <laughs> now if this is my first video that you're seeing then hello my name is Jillian and I'm so so happy that you found my channel and if you would like to see more videos from me in the future and you haven't already subscribed then make sure you click that subscribe button now I just want to say a massive thank you to Gameloft for sponsoring this video and I'm so excited because Gameloft have an app called Disney Magic Kingdoms and it's a Disney themed game now here's a fun fact about me that you probably don't know and that is that I am a massive massive Disney fan I grew up with Disney mum would always put on a Disney films for me and my ultimate dream one day is to actually go to Disneyland I have never been but it just looks like such a magical place and I just have a feeling that if I ever do go and I walk into the Disney park I'm probably just gonna like burst into tears because I'll just be so emotional and so so happy so the fact that there is a Disney Magic Kingdoms app out there that I for one didn't know about and I'm kind of mad that no one told me about this app but I have recently become obsessed with the app everything about it is just so magical the music the sound effects the characters the graphics the colors Now, as a lot of you probably know, they are about to bring out a live action version of Beauty and the Beast, which I am so excited for. As soon as I saw the trailer, I turned to my mom and I was like, can you please go and see that with me? Belle was just my favorite Disney princess when I was younger. I wanted to be Belle. Basically, she had brown hair and I had brown hair, so we were basically twins. So to go along with the new movie, in the app, they are going to be bringing out a Beauty and the Beast update, which I am so excited about. So this Beauty and the Beast update is going to run all the way from March 9th through to April 3rd, and I'm so excited to see it. I know that it's going to be so amazing. So with this new update being all Beauty and the Beast themed, there's going to be new characters like Belle and Beast and Cogsworth and Lumia. Lumia was always so funny and Mrs. Potts and Chip. I always loved Chip. He was so cute. So yeah, I am so excited for the Beauty and the Beast update. Beauty and the Beast is just my childhood and I cannot wait to see all the new and fun attractions and characters. And if you would like to check out the Disney Magic Kingdoms app, there will be a link in the top of the description where you can check it out. Like I said, it is free to download, which makes it so much more amazing. And I know a lot of you guys are Disney fans as well, so I really wanted to share this app with you guys because I know how much I love it, so I'm pretty sure you guys are going to really love it as well. And yeah, I hope you guys check out the app and let me know what you think. Okay, so now I am really, really hungry, so I definitely think it's time that I start trying out all this amazing American food. I hope it tastes good. I have such high hopes. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm going to start off with a cereal today and the one that I've picked is a Fruity Pebbles and it's got the Flintstones on the front and it's just a really colourful cereal. It's like a rainbow coloured cereal and I have no idea what this is going to taste like. I really enjoyed the Lucky Charm so hopefully this one's really nice as well. Okay, so I have no milk, I have no bowl, I have no spoon so we are off to a great start so I'm just going to go grab those things so I can eat my cereal. <laughs> Hold on one second. <laughs> okay, I'm back and now I have the necessary ingredients and tools to make cereal. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like the most colorful cereal I have ever seen. Oh my gosh, it's like rainbow cereal. That is so cool. It smells like Fruit Loops. Oh, that is so awesome. I love all the colors. Okay, so I've got my milk and I'm just gonna add it to the cereal. Okay, so first of all, I am already regretting wearing a liquid lipstick in this video. I just have a feeling it's just going to get all over my teeth and just like go everywhere. But I really enjoy this cereal. It kind of tastes like Fruit Loops. I haven't had Fruit Loops in a long time, but I'm pretty sure they used to taste a lot similar to this. So yeah, I like these. So far, I'm really loving American cereals. And when I apologize in advance if at any time in this video I'm talking with food in my mouth, I know that that's really rude, but I just want to tell you what I think while I'm eating it. And I'm just so excited that... 
I just talk and eat at the same time. So I'm sorry if I do that, but just please forgive me. So I think I'm gonna try Oreos next. These are just calling my name and these are peanut butter Oreos and I'm pretty sure you can't get any kind of flavors like this out here. I know I've only ever had plain Oreos and the great thing about having peanut butter Oreos means that my brothers aren't gonna eat them because they're both really allergic to nuts. <laughs> Okay. Whoa, smell that peanut butter. Oh my gosh. So let's give these ones a go. I hope I love them. I mean, like, who doesn't love Oreos? Hmm. I like these. I like them a lot. And now I probably have, like, a bunch of Oreo in my teeth. So just give me a second. Okay, so what should I try next? It all looks so good. I don't know. Um, okay, let's try these because they're, like, right in front of me. And these are called... Juji fruits, Juji fruits. It's a chewy, fruity candy, naturally and artificially flavored. So I guess these are lollies. Oh, here are the flavors. I've got lime, raspberry, lemon, orange, and anise. Oh, licorice. Oh no, I don't like licorice. Okay, I'm not gonna try the licorice one. I think this is like a pineapple shape one. I can't taste anything. I'm assuming it was raspberry, but like a really weak flavor raspberry. Oh, it's stuck to my teeth. Oh no. Okay, so they weren't as good as I expected. I was expecting like heaps of flavor in each lolly. These weren't as flavorful, but they're still like nice. I mean, like they're lollies, so they're still gonna be yummy. Oh, and if you're wondering, out here we call candies like that lollies. I think you guys call them candy. We call them lollies. All right, so next I'm gonna be trying these and they're called floops. Floops? <laughs> they're called flips and they're birthday cake covered pretzels. And I've never heard of these before and I've never seen these before but they sound amazing so I'm excited to try them oh they've all like melted into one giant pretzel I'm just gonna break one off oops okay I've broken a little bit off and I'm gonna try it wow that's like really really sweet I've never had chocolate covered pretzels so it is like a kind of a different combination because the pretzels are like really salty and savory and then the chocolate is really sweet but I think it works and I don't mind them. They're just really, really sweet. <laughs> okay, so next I have some flaming Hot Crunchy Cheetos. And last time, I'm pretty sure I tried the, like, normal Cheetos. And a bunch of you said to try the flaming Hot ones. So I'm going to give them a go. Now, just a warning. I'm not a big hot, spicy food fan. So I don't know how I'm going to react to these. I'm sure it'll be fine, right? <laughs> Whoa, that's an intense color. Okay, so I've got a flaming Hot Cheeto. And let's try it out. Oh my gosh! Okay, so that is like really hot. I <coughs> Okay, my eyes watering. Hang on. Okay, so that was quite hot. That was actually a lot hotter than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, like, it tasted really good, but then once like the hotness kicked in, my mouth now feels like it's on fire. All right, I need something to like cool my mouth down and I have no water with me. I should have brought water with me. Why don't I think of these things? So I'm gonna be trying a drink now and I'm gonna be trying this one and it's Schnapple pink lemonade and I love the fact that it's pink first of all and this is a juice drink and I don't know is this gonna be fizzy does it taste like apple juice or does it taste like pink lemonade I have no idea but I'm excited to try it do I shake it or like I don't know <laughs> I love the fact that this drink is pink all right let's give it a go it's a really sweet drink it's not fizzy at all I'm still not sure what it is like is it apple juice like it's called snapple but it tastes like pink lemonade. I'm so confused. Can someone explain to me please what Snapple drinks are? And I mostly appreciate it for the fact that it cooled my mouth down after the Flamin' Hot Cheeto. So thank you for being here, pink drink. <laughs> okay, where can I put this drink where I'm not gonna spill it? I just see myself like knocking it over and staining my carpet pink, which wouldn't be a bad thing, but I don't think my mum would like it. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna try a Mrs. Freshly's Snowballs and these are cream filled cakes, although they feel like marshmallow. I love how I smell everything first. Whoa. Okay, so the bottom of it, I don't know what this is. What is that? Oh, it's falling apart. I have no idea what this is. You know what? I'm just going to take a bite out of it. Let's just, let's just go for it. Here we go. Okay, so I actually quite like those. They're quite tasty. And what I think they are from looking at it is it's like chocolate cake which is filled with cream and covered in marshmallow and coconut? Is that right? I don't know, but they're quite nice. <laughs> hey, I just realized that the Snapple lid has a fact in it. That's so cool. And it says, the number of times a cricket chirps in 15 seconds plus 37 will give you the current air temperature. 
Is that true? Or are they just pulling my leg? Okay, so now I'm going to be trying some pretzel M&Ms. Okay, so they just look like a little round M&Ms, and I'm assuming that they're going to be pretzel on the inside because they're pretzel M&Ms. Okay, so they're M&Ms with pretzels inside, and I don't hate them. I don't love them. I just kind of... They're just okay. I'm really excited for this next one because I love Pringles and these are cheeseburger flavored Pringles. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Is it actually going to taste like a cheeseburger? Because that'd be really cool. Whoa! They actually smell kind of cheeseburger-ish. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh my gosh. It tastes like a McDonald's cheeseburger. What is that? Oh my gosh. That is so strange. I can't believe they made Pringles taste like a cheeseburger. I mean like, that's like, wow. Oh my gosh, it tastes like a cheeseburger. What is this? All right, so now I'm gonna be trying Pop-Tarts again because I tried Pop-Tarts in my last video, but I didn't eat them right. I was supposed to eat them more towards the center and then there was like a filling there, which I didn't get to. And I'm so sorry that I ate them incorrectly, but I'm gonna do it right this time. And I have a frosted cinnamon roll Pop-Tarts. All right, so I'm gonna go pop my Pop-Tart into a toaster and I will be right back. All right, so I am back with my Pop-Tart. I just toasted it in the toaster and now I'm gonna see what it tastes like. I really like the cinnamon taste in that Pop-Tart. It tasted really good. And now I want to try all the other flavors of Pop-Tarts. I feel like there's quite a few. I think there is. And if there is, I want to try them all. <laughs> so that's all the American food that I'm going to be trying today. I had so much fun trying all of it. And I discovered some new favorite foods. So that's really exciting. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.